Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is a very short video clip uh, to present you about uh, the details of the recent pandemic about coronavirus COVID-19. Uh, as we already know, this is declared as a pandemic by the WHO. Uh, knowing something about this virus, this coronavirus COVID-19 is basically a virus which has been known for centuries before as well in the form of MERS virus and SARC virus but it has been basically identified infecting the animals but now it has been jumping and transmitted from animals to humans. Uh, there are various serotypes totally recognized as seven of the coronavirus being called as corona because of the crown like appearance which it has. Uh, more importantly to know is how this virus spreads. It basically spreads when a person coughs or sneezes via respiratory droplets. The main system of the human body which it affects is a respiratory system. So the main precaution which all have to take is to avoid contact with an infected person or a person who has recently traveled to high risk areas such as China, South Korea or Northern Italy or other, other high risk countries where there have been uh, high cases of this pandemic. The major symptoms of the coronavirus COVID-19 include those common same symptoms as you get in common cold like fever, high temperature, you get a dry cough and uh, uh, malaise, weakness and of course in severe cases dyspnea, shortness in breath. As far as the ENT is concerned, the, these symptoms are very much similar to those seen in common cold, flu or also in allergies. The only way to distinguish this from allergies is that in nasal allergies the symptoms are local confined to the nose that is mainly the patient complains with itching in nose and sneezing and running nose without having any systemic symptoms like fever, malaise or sore throat uh, or uh, high fever is not there which is mainly present in common cold as well as in coronavirus. There is nothing to worry and nothing to panic about this coronavirus as 80% the majority of the patients they do well without any treatment and only in 16% of the patients they have serious illnesses especially those who are at high risk which includes the people who have immunocompromised status including diabetics including the immunocompromised patients uh, the elderly patients above 60 years of age or those who have other acute and chronic heart conditions uh, they may be at risk of developing serious complications and mortality uh, because of this virus. Last but not the least the take home message is uh, the precaution. The prevention is frequent and thorough hand washing with soap. The reason because the soap it removes the uh, sticky uh, the, uh, the oily layer of the, of the virus. Uh, so just washing with uh, washing the hands with water will not remove the virus. So you have to do a thorough and uh, uh, cleaning of the hands with the soap for at least 20 seconds or if not available uh, alcohol based hand sanitizers are the best. Avoid uh, going in crowded places and follow the restrictions and the travel restrictions as provided by the government or the ministries of the respective countries. Uh, the treatment of the coronavirus is yet under research and trials of various antiviral drugs and we hope inshallah we get a cure as well as a vaccine for coronavirus. Thank you.